Okay, it's that time again. Time to do some refrigerator maintenance time. Cleaning the, con the condenser. Okay, condenser cleaning time. Let's pull that fridge out. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to get your vacuum cleaner and lay it so the hose, the sucking part of the hose is on the floor in the front of the fridge. So when you blow the condenser out with the CO2 or air, um, It'll blow out, it'll catch it in the front. So you put your vacuum cleaner like that. Um, you need some tools and some air to blow out the condenser. And uh, let's blow it from black back to front. Okay. Okay, so fridge is pulled out. You want to get it all the way out. Hang on. All right, so you want to have it all the way pulled out so that it's all the way. <coughs> <clears throat> so you're blocking any dust from coming up so it just catches it all right down there okay and be prepared the back of your fridge is gonna look pretty pretty nasty back here because it hasn't been pulled out in a few years so need to broom and wash wash everything okay so first thing you do is uh, get yourself a five gallon bucket um, little brush. Use. This brush works really good for floors. Uh, this one I get right here. Got it in Ralph's for like $2.95. Good for a condenser cleaning brush too. Little sponge. Got a little towel in there. Um, so uh, just um, some. Take a five gallon bucket. Put it in your shower. Uh, put some dish soap in it. And. Uh, get hot water from your shower and uh, you can go to town on the floor um, doesn't cost you a bunch of money in chemicals or anything like that I have a you can use an old towel I have a you see I have a towel that got a bunch of junk on it so I just cut it up into some rags so you can use a towel or two to uh, wipe off the floor if you want to but um, I just use a sponge uh, I didn't need to use any chemicals um, you might need to let some water sit on some of the stains if you get like bubble gum stains on the floor or something from stuff M&Ms or something rolling underneath the fridge or uh, anything like that so but um, yeah I just uh, just sponged off the floor with some water uh, just kind of sponged off the grill too a little bit there um, work real nice sponge off the wall and your side um, your side walls you know here too and go up the back you know and do your around the plug don't get any water in the plug but just damp sponge the wall you know just everything damp sponge the wall and everything I didn't even need to dry the floor just kind of was not very wet when I the sponge takes up a lot of the water worked real well just a five gallon bucket, dish soap, and uh, easy peasy. Um, so let's take off the back of this grill and blow this condenser out. Get that done. I think I'm going to change that water line too. It's been, uh, those water lines are only good, I think, for 10 years, guarantee. I would install, that water line was installed 2003. This is 2019. That's like 16 years, so yeah, time for a new water line. I got one of them, I think in my overstock here okay let's get this done okay so uh, throw down moving blanket I got the moving blanket from Home Depot you uh, fold it in half and then in half again it works good for cushioning your knees uh, on the floor always take care of your knees you only want you try to take care of the for your first set second set of knees is expensive uh, I've heard anyways Okay, so let's get this done Okay, I like to put a sharpie around the screw holes um, Like that Around each where the holes go. I just took out that screw um, So I know exactly where my screws go back in it Takes two seconds to label it a little bit of labeling before you take something apart can make your life a whole lot easier putting stuff back together so just 
take a Sharpie, any kind of pen, marker, ink pen, and do that. Makes your life a whole lot easier. Then you know that you don't have any on the bottom when you see there's a hole. That you need, you're going to say, okay, where's the screw for that, blah, 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 you know? And you know there was nothing, okay? So that's why I do it. Okay, makes your whole life easy, a lot easier. I got all the screws out. It's only five screws. I use a little quarter inch nut driver. Um, oh, actually, there's a sixth, a sixth one up there. Oops. But uh, anyways, a little quarter inch nut driver. You don't even need a drill. Just six little screws. Here you go. Let's see what we got. Oi, chihuahua. Oi. Not good. Glad I'm doing this now. Spin it. Well, well, that was just my visual inspection in there. I did that. No, it's okay. Hmm. Oh, can I answer clean? Oh. I think I did it in 2014 too. I just didn't write it. Okay, let's get this done. I knew my fridge was struggling a bit. I thought it was. Yeah. It's before summertime. This is June 11th or something. June 11th or 12th. Yeah. I knew the damn thing was struggling a bit. Let's get this sucker clean. Okay. I used the vacuum to. Okay, I used the vacuum to. Uh, just get a little patch of it off um, but there's no place to put the vacuum so you have to blow these out so you just turn on the vacuum and you blow it to the front let's get this done Okay, this is what happens when you don't have the, <laughs> I don't know if I got a light on, yeah, I think I do. This is what happens when you don't put the nozzle in the front and you take the nozzle back here to do your, you know, some of it back here. So, uh, let's see, yeah. let's see what we got now, should be good. Blew out a lot of stuff. You can see, man. This came out the front. <laughs> Gnarly. Okay. Well, hopefully. Maybe a lot better. I think, don't think there's any way to... Have you guys ever used coil cleaner on these things at all? Some light evaporants or anything? Uh, if anybody has... Let me know. Okay. Got a new braided ice maker line. Keep a couple of these at the house. Let's put a new line on this baby. Clean out those little solenoids. We got some kind of issue going on with the water pressure. I think I got a, some crapola in there. I take that apart right there. Not getting good water flow out. Okay. Yep, just as I thought. Got crapola in the old hose. Also notice the connections weren't that tight. And when I usually put stuff together, it's tight. So that's weird. 
must have loosened up over time the seat that's what it is the uh i think it just uses like a little nylon seat yeah the nylon seat gets compressed over time that's what it is and that's how they leak start up end up leaking so i had a little bit of drippage on this one just ever so micro slightly yeah good time to do the hose this is like i said uh, 2019 it was put in 2003 so what we do for a hose that's for sure whoa check this guys I didn't even notice this look at all the dirt that came out the front and this floor was spotless I just washed and waxed this floor yesterday wow that's all the stuff that came out of that stuff and then I had the other stuff that was gotta clean this up see this all nice and clean again Hopefully I'm going to try and get the apartment complex to replace the carpet to do. Been here a long time. So, uh, yeah, that was a lot of stuff that came out of that thing, man. Wow. Okay, guys, check this shit out. So I thought I was having some kind of blockage with my filter thing and everything, with my solenoids in here. But I disconnected the hose from there. Put a new hose on, and I got good flow out of the hose to the uh, refrigerator, but this just goes up in and out of the filter. So this is just in and out of the filter. And I bought one of those new filters online for 10 bucks or whatever, cheaper, you know, look like the exact same filter. But look at this shit. Got nothing coming out of it. It's a cracked filter, man. I'm gonna try. Maybe it's the valve or something that filters thingy, but I bet it's some piece of junk filter. Maybe there's something on it, I don't know, but that's my flow problem. I think that ain't no good. So I know I got awesome flow out of the hose. I checked the hose. Okay, yeah, baby, man. Check this out now. Get that sponge, so make a mess. Okay, um, turn on the water. I got awesome flow now. All I did was undo the filter. I undid the filter inside the fridge, pulled it out, shook the water out of it, give it a shake, and put it in, not the same way I took it out, you know, spun it, you know, and just put it in. Goes in like probably one of two ways front, you know, you get what I'm saying anyways. I don't know how many ways it goes in, but anyways, I just put it back in a different way. Um, and we got awesome flow. I'm guessing the valve, inside the thing inside the body didn't like me changing the filter with the water pressure on so you guys in the past i think i've always turned off the water so that's what i recommend you do so change the water filter if you end up with that problem that low flow and the pipe shuttering type of problem with the valve so this is awesomeness Okay, so I can hook this back up and I should have good water flow to my ice maker now and to my water dispenser. All right, cool. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, this was this was right here on there. Um, you just un unclip it. I've got a video on this one, how to take this out. So you just unclip it. And just pull it straight down it just sticks over the thing make sure you do it when the fridge has been off for at least a half an hour um, and it looks see that blockage well, it looks like a blockage to me so let's see what we got could just be a stain I know but let's blow through it and see if we get anything coming out let's see if I can do this on camera Yeah, it's not a blockage, it's just a stain. So I'd like to run 
um, use it. I usually have a tube brush with me, but left it in one of my jobs last week. Um, so I'm going to use a paper towel and a screwdriver and push it through it and then blow it, blow it out with air because it's a bit of a curve and stuff. So I want to see if I can, uh, excuse me. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, so, yep, let's see if I can get that stain rid of that, clean that up a bit. Okay, this is just going to have to wait for another day. It's just a light stain. I'm going to, I'll do it another day. A screwdriver and a piece of oh, rag is not going to work as far as too much bend. I'm not going to screw with it. I, I want to get this thing back online. I've been off for like an hour, half hour, hour already, so I want to get my fridge back working done enough so far so take your sponge and uh, sponge down your compressor to in the base pan clean any scudge there was a little piece of scudgy stu scudge in there I thought it was rust but it wasn't just scudge I gotta wipe this out some more but wipe off your fan blade real gently be very careful make sure that spins okay seems good I want to get a new one of these fan motors though 16 years gotta be on its way out I don't know how long those things last if you guys know how long those fans last if you think it's a good idea for me to replace it now at 16 years or just uh, I don't know do they last forever these are good. factory parts are usually better than the replacement parts so I kind of hesitate replacing it because usually replacement parts are junk they last like four or five years so I don't know, anyways, but uh, looking pretty good, I think. Uh, the condenser um, should be real good. I took a lot of crap out of this thing. I mean, those two tons of shit came out this side and the other side. A bunch of crap came out. On that side, I already vacuumed it up, but this thing was dirty. So, anyways, all right, let's put this thing back together and get it, get it back online. Okay. Okay. That's the final deal. It's all cleaned up. Paper towel. Cleaned out. Let me turn off this flashlight. Okay, let me just restart this thing. All right, that's the final, final deal. It's going back together. Right now, it's all cleaned up. Any scudge is out of the pan. Wiped out, brushed out with that brush. And I also wiped off the uh, outside cover for the sponge. Just sponge it. Um, sponge cover off the grill things. Um, okay. Yeah, just sponge off the cover. And um, that's pretty much, pretty much it. Uh, ready to put back together. Okay, the uh, whole thing took me about an hour and a half to do, okay. Okay, this is where the, uh, putting the, the uh, Sharpie around circles around the screws really comes into play. You're ended the job, you're tired, um, you just want to get it back done. So, uh, you don't have to think about anything, you just put the screws back in. Boom, 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 you know they're in the right spot. Um, and that's it. Um, also put all the screws in loose as you can see they're a little bit loose just put them in halfway uh, all the way that way you get all the cover sorted so when all the screws are loose you can move the cover around get it right into place and then you snug them down that's the secret to putting on metal covers on any type of cabinets always put your screws in only put them in uh, put them in loose put them in halfway three-quarter way um, and then you can get all the screws in then you tighten everything up. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Click like on the video and subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Okay. So I've got a new water hose on here. We're all cleaned up. All the inside parts. All cleaned pretty much. Anyways, good enough for today. Um, the floor is cleaned. Units all cleaned. 
I just got a mark on the unit. Uh, today's state that I cleaned the condenser. So I got to put that on here. Okay. Okay, cover's all installed. And um, I have the condenser cleaned. Notes on the fridge. I'll look back at the fridge. There we go. So, and a, okay, and new water line installed. Back of the fridge. Okay, it's been a good little fridge, that's for sure. It is a good little fridge. I love my baby. It's a good fridge. Um, I'll put the put the model and serial on the on this thing. Uh, two door side by side. Two door side by side uh, refrigerator. Uh, awesome fridge. New water line installed. June 12th, 2019. Okay. Okay, our refrigerator plugged in. Let's start it up. First thing you want to make sure is that your condenser fan's working. So, that'll tell you that it's working. Just take a uh, paper towel or a piece of toilet paper, whichever you want. Um, but that tells you she's working. Suck in air. You can hear the compressor working, so that's a good thing. Okay. Um, floor's all done. Refrigerator's all done. Condenser cleaned. Um, the whole job to put a new water line on the back of the fridge and clean the condenser took me two and a half hours. Um, is uh, just vacuumed up the on bucket with the sponge and the soapy water in it and everything and I uh, used the sponge just got down on my hands and knees thing and you know and it turns out I got like 30 degree air blowing I think yep 30 degree air blowing oh I promised you guys my own serial number here we go there's a good fridge man and my baby so uh, Good fridge, got it in 2003 when I moved. And uh, fridge is kind of a mess right now. But, uh, oh, right there we go. Got beard, back here, some meat. I always put my meat on the top shelf because it blows out like 20 degrees on the top shelf. So you keep your meat, the meat lasts like 10 days up on the top. Uh, so, and uh, bread, second shelf, lasagna, berries um, and that kind of stuff fridge is going to need some attention that's for sure okay yep and yep that's me guys gotta clean that photo but, yep a little Maui scuba diving trip that was fun. Um, so anyways, we're all done. So uh, click like on the video and subscribe. All right, take care. Okay, this is some bonus footage for you guys. How you tell if you're moving good air, you got good airflow. Take a paper towel or a piece of toilet paper and you see how it blows out like that. See how that, that's your good airflow. So the toilet paper works better. But if you crinkle up a paper towel, kind of roll it and make it so it's flimsy, you can tell that, you see, and you got the airflow. There we go. That's how you tell you got good airflow. Okay. And suction in that side. You can tell you got suction. Airflow blowing out. Look at that baby. Look at that. Ooh.